Not only is your help here tonight enormously important to us, but we need you to knock the doors, hit the pavement, uh, ring the bells, uh, make those phone calls to make sure our friends, colleagues, family get out there and vote, either early vote by mail or on November 7th in person. There's a lot at stake, um, and I probably don't need to tell you that. I think Dr. Zubair summarized that. But when you walk out of here and, you, and people say to you, hey, what does Murphy stand for? What's his campaign stand for? How will he govern if he's fortunate enough to get elected? I think these words capture it. A start, we stand for a stronger and fairer state and economy that works for every New Jersey family. And right now the reality is we're not strong, we're profoundly unfair, and when it does work in our economy, it works for very few. So we strong means growing. We need to grow the economy. It's the innovation economy, which includes very much at the center of that health care. Uh, so that poor kid doesn't have to go through and give his life as he gave it so tragically. Uh, but it's health care, it's technology, it's telecom, it's bio, it's pharma. We used to dominate that innovation economy. Uh, we've let a lot of that slip away. There's no reason whatsoever we can't dominate it again. And I think you're right, it's leadership. Uh, we don't have a lot of financial flexibility, but more importantly, we don't have leadership right now. This is a failure of leadership. And I want to raise my hand and say, you know what, I believe I've got the skills and what it takes to, to grow that economy again. Someone who understands how you knit together that innovation economy. The other big economy we talk a lot about is the infrastructure economy. Let's just take complete advantage of our God-given location. That 49 other states would die to swap in with us. So that's roads, bridges, rails, tunnels, ports, the green economy. Uh, and so there's no reason why, again, that's something we used to do really well. We used to dominate the innovation economy. I think you can make the argument that we were Silicon Valley before there was a Silicon Valley. <coughs> and on infrastructure, we did the big things. We, we, we built the bridges and tunnels and roads and rail, and we've gotten away from all of that. We not only don't build them, we take money from them. You know, you'd think if you're the fourth smallest state in the nation, geographically, which we are, and you're the densest state in the nation, which we are, and you sit next to the largest city, or the largest market, rather, in the world, which we do, you'd think if you messed everything else up, the one thing you'd get right would be commuter rail. Apparently not. That's one example of many failures of leadership. So let's grow the innovation economy, very much including healthcare. Let's grow the, the infrastructure economy again. I mentioned fairness. <laughs> and a lot of engineers will be happy. Almost 700 and some of them. Uh, I mentioned fairness. There's not one move on, that, on the board that makes us fair overnight, but wages, benefits, college affordability, equal pay for equal work. We have the widest, among the widest gender pay gaps in the country. Uh, criminal justice reform, we have the widest white, non-white gap of persons incarcerated in America. Breaking the back of the foreclosed home crisis, we lead the nation in foreclosed homes. There's a whole series of steps that we think we can take that make us fair. So stronger and fairer, an economy that works for everybody. I lastly want to raise my hand and, and say with your help, I'd like to be the governor of the state that we used to be. Meaning there was a list of words. Thank you. There was a list of words that used to describe New Jersey almost uniquely. We grew, we were fair, we were respected and trusted, we did big things, we were known for smart government, we proved you could be responsible and progressive at the same time. Uh, we were inclusive in our leadership. We were civil in our leadership. We treated each other with respect, even when we disagreed. If you stop right there, and I say this with a heavy heart, and I'm an optimist, I believe with the right leadership and the right priorities, we'll reclaim those words. But at the moment, not one single one of those words applies to New Jersey today. Not one of them describes our state. state. So with your help, I want to be the governor of the state that grows, that's fair, that's respected and trusted, that does big things and is known for smart government, that's responsible and proudly progressive at the same time, that's inclusive in our leadership. I want you gentlemen to hear this right now in front of this entire room. I'm making a commitment that I will stick to. I will not go to the beach by myself. <laughs> I'm sure you're all paying attention out there. That we will once again have leadership that's civil, 
It's not a question of will we disagree. We'll disagree. The question is what are we going to do when we disagree? And I think one more word that I'm increasingly drawn to, and that's compelling. Whether it's a young woman graduating from college looking to start her career, a young couple looking to start their family, a small or medium-sized business trying to figure out where to put their roots down, somebody who wants to study medicine or practice it, a senior, we have them all over the state, do I stay, do I go? That once again, New Jersey is a state where folks say, you gotta look at New Jersey. There's too much going on there. New Jersey has momentum, something is happening. You'll make a mistake to not have New Jersey on your list. So it won't just be words that say fairer and stronger and work for all, but folks will actually see themselves in the progress we're making, whether it's their career or their family or their business or their retirement. Please follow us, if I may ask one favor at the end. We're at murphy4nj.com. I love these signs, by the way. Uh, murphy4nj.com. You've invested in us. You have every right to see how we're expending your precious resources, and I hope you'll agree with us that we're spending them wisely. But I also want to warn you, when you do follow us, you're going to see that we walk and chew gum at the same time. All right. Meaning that we focus laser-like on getting this state fixed and on its feet. That's job number one. That's why we're here. It's some of the things I just talked about and a lot more. But we also can't ignore what's coming at us out of Washington, and we won't. So when there's a health care bill that had it become law, victim state number one would have been New Jersey. We will not be silent. When there's a tax plan that looks like it's written on the back of a cocktail napkin that two Republican congressmen yesterday in this state supported, and we would again be victim state number one in the country, we will not be silent. When you have the complete breakdown of moral authority, as we saw in Charlottesville, Virginia, a few weeks ago, we will not be silent. When you have the awful tragedy in Las Vegas, when there are sensible steps that we could take to make our communities safer, we will not be silent. When 22,000 dreamers in our state who are every bit as American as my four kids are being shown the door, we will not be silent. So I want to warn you ahead of time that we're going to be laser focused on getting this state fixed, but we also will stand up. And I think you're going to conclude as we have, that governors will have never mattered more in this time, both in the mundane governing, where's the governing happening, because it certainly doesn't look like it's happening in Washington, it's going to be state and local but also we're gonna need a governor with a steel backbone who's prepared to stand up to all this stuff coming at us out of Washington and say, not in the state of New Jersey you will. So whether it's the stronger economy, the fairer economy, the economy that works for everybody and not just some, or that list of words that used to describe us and that with the right leadership will once again, or if you agree with me that we need governors with a steel backbone more than ever before, for whatever those reasons, any of them, all of them, your support, tonight and over the next 32 days means more than you'll ever know. God bless you all and thank you.